Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Okay, and in today's Hancock's VMware Half Hour, um, it's not going to be half an hour, probably five or ten minutes. Um, I'm going to have a quick little deep dive into fixing an issue that we've actually got with um, uh, vSAN um, on... I think we'll probably call it maybe one of our production workloads um, here in the office. Um, and I was, and I need to do, I need to go ahead and do this anyway because I need to actually basically um, patch um, and upgrade these uh, hosts to ESXi 7.03Q, I think. Um, but uh, the other day we had an issue. It's a long story uh, that I'll not go into now. But the result of it was that if we have a little look at vSAN here, uh, one of our disk groups basically has become unhealthy uh, because one of the disks uh, appears to be absent, which has failed, uh, which basically has caused a permanent disk lock in the disk group, which we did um, end up with a particular issue uh, and loss of workloads, but those workloads, in fact, were Nutanix. Um, it was a home lab, so it wasn't really um, that important. Um, so I thought today, uh, in this five to ten minutes, I'll just show you how I'm going to resolve this. Now, I'm just going to put a caveat out there first. Uh, the hosting question at the moment, ESXi006, is not on the HCL. Um, the controller that we're using um, for vSAN is not on the HCL and the disks that we're using are SanDisk, SanDisk, they're Samsung consumer SSDs. So none of them are on the SSD, no SSD, none of them are on the HCL. Um, so this is the likelihood if you're running completely unsupported, you're going to have these, um, these little issues. And to prevent any further loss of workloads, I've made sure that every single virtual machine that is currently um, on the vSAN data store is actually backed up. So if it, if it basically goes completely to toast and we're burnt, um, or we're burnt and it goes to toast, um, then we can do a restore. So I just wanted to quickly show you how I'm actually gonna resolve this issue. Um, and this can actually be done from the GUI. Um, if we go to the GUI and we click remove, um, and we want to remove the disk group, um, usually it says error. Um, that looks like it is actually going to, it's actually said perform disk evaluate, perform. Okay, general vSAN error, yeah. I thought it, I thought it might. Um, this is something that I've seen before. No idea why. Uh, because generally with an issue like this, I disappear basically to uh, an SSH uh, bash shell and I copy the, if we go up to here and we click copy group UUID, and then I've already got an SSH session open. I'll put this command that I'm going to use in the description, uh, which is ESX CLI space vSAN space storage space remove dash U followed by the disk group UUID, which I've copied here. And I click enter. And after, usually, uh, it thinks about it, maybe for a few seconds sometime, uh, or a few minutes. Um, uh, there we go, that's actually completed. And if I now just refresh the GUI, we can see now that our disk group is healthy. And if we actually basically have a little look at, there's our healthy uh, disk group uh, and the original group that we've got there, of course, are now appearing um, as uh, unclaimed disks or claimed disks. Um, and what I might do is there's definitely obviously basically something wrong with one of the SSDs because I've noticed um, if I actually have a little look at the storage devices, um, 
by the magic of video editing. Um, if I actually basically have a little look at the storage devices, uh, my cache uh, devices for the disk groups are an NVMe disk. And then I'm actually basically using uh, standard SATA ATA disks as the capacity disks. And I should have eight. And if I count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One's missing. And that's what's been causing the disk group to completely fail. Uh, and usually what I find, if I restart the server, that disk comes back, but later on it fails. So I think what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to recreate the disk group. Uh, but this time, I'm not going to include that disk. Or I can't include that disk at the moment anyway, because basically it's not visible. So I'm going to recreate the, the disk group um, without that capacity disk that's actually failing. So what I've done, I've clicked claim unused disks and ESXi006 is the host that we want to fix or we want to create a, a disk group. Um, so I'm going to use the SATA disks um, as capacity tiers and they're all flash. So they've got three disks there that are in a capacity tier and I've got the local NVMe disk as a cache tier, which is flash. And I'm not going to claim the other disks that are on ESXi 10. And I'm going to click Create. And hopefully uh, we can see here at the bottom that we're creating a disk group on vSAN. And we're adding the disks on vSAN. That says completed. And this is at about 20%. Uh, we're still seeing healthy there. Disks in use, 5 slash 9. And hopefully that will complete when it's finished. Okay, that's just doing a refresh. So there we go, 9 of 9, 10 of 10, 2 of 4. Uh, it's currently in maintenance mode. I'm going to leave it in maintenance mode because I'm probably going to update uh, this first host um, as well. Um, let's just check the vSAN uh, health. So I'll have a little look at Skyline health there. And everything is currently reported as healthy. I'll just basically hit the retest again. And everything looks okay. Let's just have a little look at our virtual objects. Okay, well at the moment, you know, we're currently in maintenance mode. Okay, so there we go. It was short and sweet. Uh, come back again um, because I've got some more tweaking that we'll need to do um, because there is a, a, a very strange issue that we have with this particular vSAN um, cluster with one node, uh, which definitely always causes me a problem. So um, come back for the next video and we'll have a little look at that. Okay, so thanks very much for watching and uh, goodbye.